silence. Subtract from the village hum a pestle pounding grains of rice, the swoosh of a winnowing tray, rice bubbling on the fire, chickens clucking in the yard, soft voices of women at work. Bird songs stop. Conchita Kumaldi arrives. Don't panic, she says. The Omen of Mungayang. The morning after the full moon, our baby burps and clear liquid splats into the wall. Shelley and Conchita hike toward a village upstream. I nap with our sons, one and five years old. A flock of songbirds abruptly silent. Minutes later, Conchita steps into the hut and rasps. She fell into the river. I run, reach Shelley's body, drop to her side. A fly buzzes in, then out of her mouth. Back on the trail, Shelley's voice, not the wind, her voice echoes from death. I rush to our sons. Conchita's cousin lifts Manny on her back, then crumples into sobs. I put Sam on my shoulders, tell him his mom is dead. He wants to know when he will get a new one. The Tricycle Taxi Driver. Please accept my gift, I say. In Lagawe, I own the only tricycle taxi. Orange, yellow, red, fresh paint, curving lines. Afternoon, the soldiers arrive breathless. Say, an American woman fell from the pre precipice near Mungaya. At dusk, they arrive, Ifugals, a few men, two women. One carries the baby of the American woman in a yellow backpack. I shall be the one. In a rattan hammock, Tied to a pole, Ifugao men bring the woman's body. The American man shoulders his five-year-old son, his walk heavy, shirt soaked, face streaked with dirt, his tears behind red eyes. Then he mumbles, taxi, and steps toward me. He places his two sons on the seats, then sits between them, offers to pay. I've come here to give him a ride. Please accept my gift, I say. The cliff. I stretch from precipice to river. The American woman fell along my rocky spine. Contusions on her face. No autopsy, no way to check for water in lungs to know if rocks or river the cause of death. But I am blamed, though I never wanted this day of lamentation. Nanadot. Renato called today from the Philippines, said Shelley died, fell from a cliff, an accident. My only daughter left two sons, Sam and Manny. Stupid, 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 stupid. How could she leave so much behind? I get such nachas from introducing the whole mish mishpocha from table to table at the Lake Success swimming pool. Must talk with Rabbi Davidson Neighbors have cockamamie ideas about how my losses, my husband Sam, my daughter Shelley, should make me feel. This grief cuts jagged spirals, 
but I refuse to wallow in bitterness. She who can't endure the bad will not live to see the good. My grandsons should only be well. I pray for their father's joy. The boys need him. 